Okay, quick um, calculation question on using thermochemical equations to be added together or taken away to find um, heats of reaction for an unknown um, basic reaction anyway. So this says calculate the delta H, the heat of reaction for the following reaction using the thermochemical equations given. So we want to find out delta H for this if we know these um, heats of combustion basically. So how are we going to do this? What we need to work out is which way these things are going and how much of each reaction we're going to need to add together. The way I'm going to do it quickly is look at what I've got here, what my um, stoic is here. I've got two carbons on this side. So obviously for A, I'm going to need at least multiply this by two. Because I want two carbons, this one's only got one carbon, multiply the whole thing by two. My H here, that's all right, that's not too bad. Um, I've basically got, well, that's fine. H is on this side, nothing on that in there, so I want one of these equations to make my H there. Now I've got two um, ethene, yep, ethenes here, and I've got two ethenes on this side. I only got one here, sorry. So what I have to do is for this equa equation, I'm going to have to first of all divide by two, and then I'm going to flip it as well because I want this ethene on the other side here. So what I'm going to have to add together, what my equations to add together, are going to be 2C plus 2O2 goes to 2OCO2. My delta H for this is obviously going to be twice as much as what it is here, which is going to be, calculator, just to make sure I don't stuff anything up, sorry, point five times two, because 787 kilojoules. I'll put kilojoules here just so I know they're all in kilojoules. This one's going to be stay the same, so I'm going to be adding H2 gas plus half O2 gas going to H2O liquid. All right, obviously should have solid here, gas here, and gas here. I haven't done anything to this equation, so my delta H is going to be equal to, this is negative, negative 285.8 kilojoules. Kilojoules, I might as well write them in just while I'm on the track. And then here I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to divide it by all by 2. So I'm going to flip it around so my products are going to become my reactants and they're going to be halved. So I'm going to have 2 CO2 plus H2O liquid goes to um, C2H2 plus 2.5 O2. And that's going to be delta H for this. Well, I'm going to halve this delta H because I've halved the whole thing. 2598.8 divided by 2. And my delta H is going to become positive because I've flipped the whole thing around as well. So it's going to be 100 and, sorry, 1299.4 kilojoules. All right. When I add all these together, let's have a look what happens. I've got carbon two carbon dioxides on this side and two carbon dioxide on that side. So these guys are going to cancel out. I've got a H2O on this side and a H2O on that side. That's going to cancel out there. I've got half oxygen and two oxygens here. So I've got two and a half oxygens here, cancelling out to these two and a half oxygens there. So it leaves me with two carbons plus one hydrogen going to an ethene. And let's work out what my delta H is going to be for this. I basically, well, I simply add up to what these delta H's are here. So I'll have, uh, where am I? Negative 780, we can get that in there. Yep, negative 787, take away 285.8, then adding on 1299.4. I realise it becomes positive, so it will be 226.6 kilojoules, and that is going to be positive because of the way it works out. So you can see how we can manipulate our thermochemical equations that we're given 
and kind of cancel out the things that we don't need to find out our unknown thermochemical equation. And remember the way I did this, the way I worked out how to, um, what I needed to do to these equations was look at my equation and see if we've got two here, how I'm going to make two here with this. I've got one of those, how am I going to manipulate this equation to get that? If I need one of these on the right hand side, how am I going to manipulate this equation to get it on the right hand side and to only get one of them? And next to each one I've written what I need to do to it and then I write them out again, how I've done it to it, and then I've added them all together here. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it, and it's a pretty simple concept, but sometimes it's just nice, it's nice to see an example anyway. And that's it there. If you need help, please come and see me at school or email me, and I'll try and endeavour to get back to all the problems that you may face in terms of this. So, otherwise, um, in, keep on enjoying in chemistry and see you later.